everyone, and welcome back to Dishonored. This is episode five. Last time, we branded the High Overseer a heretic, and we rescued Martin, we spared Captain Kerno, and we escaped back to the Hound Pits pub. The Overseer's undone. Martin is on his way to join the Loyalists, and Campbell's fate has thrown the Overseers into disarray. Decoding the High Overseer's journal may reveal any number of strategic secrets, most notably the location of the rightful heir to the throne, Emily Colgwyn. So heading back to the Hound Pits pub, let's see what is waiting for us. Admiral Havelock and Lord Pendleton are in the courtyard. I expect I'll want to congratulate you. I assume I'll get a thank you for sparing the captain. Oh yeah, mask off. Oh shit. Wait, who's firing guns? No? Okay. Who's firing weapons? He's alive. Thank you, Corvo, thank you. My uncle's a good man, and one day he'll prove it. Here. I know you did this for the right reasons, but I want you to take this as a reward. It's an old heirloom one of my aunts gave me. Nice. Um, and we sold it immediately. We didn't treasure it. We sold it for 100 coins straight away. Wasted no time. Family heirloom? Yeah. Coins. Okay. <laughs> when I started hearing, I started hearing like gunshots. I was like, fuck, someone's about to get shot. They followed us. But no, very strange. Okay. Uh, we have three runes, so we should do something here. And I think we should do possession. I reckon possession would be cool. Let's buy possession. We can press a left trigger to physically merge with any animal's body for a limited time. You can end possession by pressing left trigger again. If your host were to die, you would endure the same fate. Small animals can't survive the possession process. Oh god. This has a not only a cost to it, but is like like more like the, the moral aspect here that we're also having to deal with like the small animals will just die at level two you can also possess people while inside another human body you are too clumsy to do anything but basic actions like opening doors or carrying objects you're like you're like walking around like this like a weird like sort of puppet trying to be like puppeted <laughs> but my strings are broken um okay so if, if the host dies while we're in possession we would also die something to think about. Possession is very powerful, allowing you to merge physically with an animal, such as a fish or a rat. The merging with a fish thing is going to be really interesting. An unobstructed path to your target. The power is useful for stealth. You can hide in small places or move through spaces normally too small for you, like water-filled drainage pipes or ventilation ducts. Now, I'm assuming that if we were to put, like, mice through the little traps and stuff, maybe there would be something that you could, like, interact with or just it would be like to distract a person or something like that i'm not sure um and then you can also possess a hound which is cool enemies will try and stomp you if you're possessing a rat um allies of the human you're possessing will not attack you and security devices attuned to the human you are possessing like the arc pile on a wall of light will not harm you if you are falling Possessing an animal or human on the way down will effectively break your fall, which is very interesting because what happens to your body? Your body will still hit the ground. Um, now, we have bone charms and we haven't activated any of them and I've received some confirmation uh, from my lovely patrons in early access that this is, this is a DLC related thing where we have seven slots and we got like a bunch of money and stuff nothing like too game breaking and also like as you can see i haven't actually indulged in the bone charms um so what we're going to do is we'll, we'll use bone charms um where possible but i'm not going to make use of the seven slots i think because i didn't know that everything would get unlocked this is the lovely sort of double-edged sword of a blind playthrough is there are certain elements that can ha happen like this. So we will end up picking, like, we'll pick three, right? We'll pick three. So 
we can let's see what we let's see what we've got. Win sword versus sword contests more frequently. I'm gonna try and not even get into combat. Damage from explosions reduced. Whiskey bottles explode with greater intensity. Oh, white rats won't attack you. I'll take that. I will be a friend to the rats. White rats can be consumed for mana. Um, yummy. I'm assuming that we are... Are the white rats not plague rats then? Because that doesn't seem healthy. Power effects slightly improved. I don't know what it means by improved. Like, does my blink go further distance? Breath capacity in water increased, breaking glass sound reduced, keyhole peeping, magnification. Do we like to watch? Drop assassination gives you a bit of health. I like that it's called Raven. Enemies miss more often. Um, probably quite useful. Swim speed increased. Food heals you slightly more. Getting damaged by weepers gives a small amount of mana. Rats only attack you when you walk closer. And you can possess white rats for longer. Well, let's um, let's let's have two of those on, so we won't get attacked by rats. We can possess them for longer. And then I think what I'll do is I'm trying to just have like stealth focused ones, really. You know, let's just go for the three rat charms. Why not? I'm a rat boy, and we've got our rat charms. Lovely. Okay, so we're going to speak with Havelock and Pendleton. Let's take a look around, shall we? I don't know if the heart will update dialogue when we re-enter an area we've been to previously. They top off the line with river water, but eventually someone swims. Then fresh bottles are fetched from the cellars. They're off. If this is going to work, we have to take down the Lord Regent and all its their fate rests on your effort, on the strength of your hands and of your heart. The Admiral was right in recruiting you. Nothing's been the same since the Lord Regent took power. But at least Campbell's gone and my uncle lived. The Bone has a good heart and respects you. My pa always wanted me to be an overseer. If he could see us now. Sailors tell tales of monsters far out to sea, but I'll tell you, there's strange things in this river no one talks about. Lights in the water, late at night. I've seen faces too. I hate that. I'm genuinely not a fan. Um, a second solution. Now this is going to be the funny part, revisiting areas that we've been to and going, do the books update as well or not? Have we read a second solution? Yes, we have. Let's do our objective, shall we? Attention. We dilly dally a lot, <laughs> exploring. Between John Clavering Boulevard and Dunwall Tower, are advised to remain indoors until pleasure. further notice. To think, Lord Pendleton is the son of nobility. You did it! Somehow you took down the High Overseer Campbell against the odds. I knew you were our man, Corvo. With Campbell gone, we've hurt the Lord Regent immeasurably. And with Martin back, we'll have the finest strategist alive. The Lord Regent must be shitting himself in Dunwall Tower. Yes, and Campbell's journal, let's not forget. Our hope is that in these encoded pages, the location and condition of Emily Caldwin can be discovered. Our entire movement will mean nothing if we can't place the rightful heir on the throne. We must act fast. No doubt the Lord Regent is holding Emily somewhere, waiting to reveal her, to step out as the hero and further cement his regency. If he doesn't bring the young lady forth soon, there will be infighting among the nobles as to who should succeed the Empress. Yes, time is against us. But now you should take a well-earned rest, Corvo. We will decipher the contents of the High Overseer's journal and share them with you later. Okay, so that's what the, the gunshots were. <laughs> they were having a, a good sport of target practice. Also, Pendleton's a goddamn alcoholic. He's just like, just a quick swig here, just a quick smoke here, just a quick swig here. Man is consuming. <laughs> uh, not just yet, there are things I'd like to do first, Admiral. 
Sometimes I think this conspiracy feels like the start of a joke, don't you? An admiral, an aristocrat, and an overseer walk into a bar. <laughs> I wonder what the punchline will be. Your mom. We'll Welcome have to back, find Emily Master soon. Corvo. With Campbell out of play, they're likely to move her. You know, I expect that a rough around the edges military man, like the admiral. You're actually a gentleman. Nice. Her servant wages will not be enough to fix her father's deaths. It still really surprises me that you can like assassinate your your team here. Like it actually kind of terrifies me to like accidentally flick that trigger when I'm just like walking around. Do not walk around with your knife out. My, there is something to you, isn't there? You went and spanked the high overseer in his own house. I hope the tools I designed for you function to your satisfaction. The fact that I am standing here and talking to you confirms that this is true in several ways. Nice. They stood in a circle around the candles and cut their hands to form their alliance. The blood hissed as it touched the flames. This feels like a nice little waste of oil here, guys. You got an empty tank that you could at least sit in here? I thought this was a precious resource. Where's that other empty tank from last time? I guess it's not here anymore. Alright, um, what else have we got around here? Uh, there are no runes or anything, it's basically just rest time. There are new items to Welcome pick back, up. Master Corvo. The ore is here. Uh, but yeah, no runes, no bone charms. It looks like the books might be the same, so this should be relatively simple. I didn't know if we'd be sort of how regularly we'd be coming back here. So we definitely did a thorough investigation the first time through, which I think is a good idea. Big fan of that double jump. There are areas that, of this place that haven't really come up yet. Attention Dunwall citizens, you are reminded like under the ground. a member of the City Watch has been made a capital offense and guardsmen are authorized to carry out this sentence on the spot. The offender's possessions are legally forfeit. Please, sir. I was never in service with a noble. That's not an excuse. You need to learn proper decorum. The Helm Pits has seen a few lords and ladies in its day. If they were here, I expect they didn't want to be recognized, sir. Never mind that. Lord Pendleton ought to be shown the respect he deserves. He doesn't require it, but he notices. Yes, sir. Sorry. But even so, have you forgotten we may soon be guarding a future empress? You will be in the presence of the most important person in the entire known world, and you don't know how to curtsy. But she's just a child, and she's not even here. No one knows where she is. Well, our masters are just the people to find her, I'll have you know. Please learn your manners before then. It's a weird vibe. Like, I get that they respect, you know, the true emperors and stuff like that, uh, and the, the empress being instilled and whatnot, but it's just like, even the thing with, like, Lord Pendleton and stuff, it's like, all right, relax, relax. Bit rude, mate. My father served in the field under General Alfred Pendleton, where he took the wound that crippled him. I hope I will do no less if called upon. Until then, well, there is plenty of silver to polish. And what was the, the heart told us that he gossips to the overseers? He gossips on his neighbors to the overseers, right? He didn't tend to that cut, and now it festers. It is in the common man that the Abbey finds its most faithful. The, um, the eavesdropping is very interesting. Like the listening of, uh, of conversations with, with characters, I, I find quite fascinating. Pendleton's family crisis. Um, yep, okay. This is a good way to tell if it's a new note. Read it, and then it'll say new note added to journal. So that's good. So there is new stuff to read. The Pendleton's family crisis. Cousin Anna, Morgan, and C Custis continue to resist my efforts and are no longer responding to my letters. The servants tell me they've been absent from the manor for some weeks. My brothers have always been arrogant 
utterly convinced of their own certainty, and they don't really give two figs for anyone else in the world unless they want something and can't take it outright. This disagreement over the coming parliamentary vote has reached a crisis point. Up until now, the Lord Regent has been somewhat restrained in his authority, at least where the holdings of the gentry have been concerned. If Morgan and Custis vote in his favour, the law will be ch changed and we will be at risk. Aristocracy or not, I implore you, if you know where they are, to speak with them. Lord Trevor Pendleton. Okay. I'm not sure if audiographs might change too. This is the thing to look for, so... Um, I think this might have been Pendleton's arrival about the furnishings have been installed and because you can play them from here I would assume that they would be the same Memoir Chapter 28 It's new Waverly, Waverly It's new Waverly. The very name sweeps one away She came into our cold marble hall and brought light and warmth She changed our lives forever it was only later I realized she was a traitorous little weasel, like all the boils. Okay, so... Um, another way to tell if it is a new one, I guess it'll show that it gets added to your menu. I really do appreciate that, because it's a way for me to still check things and see uh, what's new or not. So the audiographs do update over time, which I think is really cool. Have look, log entry number two would be a written note, wouldn't it? Oh, actually it's not in here. There should be a entry number one if it was anything, right? Maybe it's, maybe it is a book. Havelock log entry one, good. I Okay, so things will update over time. There you go. Lovely. Well, it seems that we've invested in the right man with Corvo. Not only did he free Martin from the office of the High Overseer, but he went into that viper's nest and sorted out Campbell personally. With Corvo and our company, I suspect there is no one in the world we cannot touch. We are now committed to this path. There is no turning back. Oh, and then it also includes entry number one. So you can read the previous ones if you missed them. I like that. Please see your tax assessor to secure food coupons. Very cool. Requesting rations. If I'm not sure, I'll just read it and see if it says a new note or not. Corvo's proved his abilities beyond question. It's not anyone who can walk into Holder Square and put down the High Overseer. And now we're faced with the question, could he be dangerous? Events are going to move quickly now. The storm's rising. Cool. And there was entry three. He decided to, uh... Decided to do that one, uh in an audio style. Are we to be trusted? I don't know, we'd be listening to everyone's things, eavesdropping on conversations, whispering into their minds, stealing their stuff, <laughs> like, which I think is quite, quite hilarious. Okay, so, I like how the, the dialogue as well doesn't outright state the, over the High Overseer being killed, that way they can get away with not having to re-record two different lines of dialogue and they can just use sort of um, language that can be, you know, used for both. Like, oh, he's been put down. He hasn't been killed, but he's been, like, you know, branded, he's out of action, that sort of stuff. So instead of saying killed or whatnot, it works out a little better. Welcome back, Sometimes Master I Corvo. wonder if the play is just going to go on and on and on and kill everyone ever and it's the end of the world. Think of that. Cecilia, getting a bit existential. She, she is, is a seamstress, seamstress and a shop frequented by wealthy. Now, if we have the Pubmaster key, what are we, uh, what are we accessing as with the Pubmaster? Attention, Dunwall citizens. This is a reminder that walls of light erected in our streets are for your protection. However, they will respond to any touch or approach with lethal force. Furthermore, it is a misdemeanor to throw any object or animal into a wall of light, whether for amusement or with criminal intent. Okay. Uh... Like 
wondering if there's like a, a safe or a uh, or a, a door or something that can be opened with this um, this key. The stained glass uh, up above here is gorgeous. The hound pit detail. This is like gorgeous art direction. This is just the kind of stuff that I I really appreciate. It's beautiful. Good art direction is timeless. So there's down here and we went down here, but I can't remember if there was anything else. This would be where I would think you would have a key. District sewer key needed. So we don't have the key for this. What is that? Can I get. Can I access the sewers from the outside? Because what the fuck is that? We don't have the key. Or the one that we need. What is that? It's like under here? Sealed, so we're not getting through there. I wonder if we'll have an opportunity to get that key from uh, from someone else. Oh, actually, maybe. I reckon we could swim through as a fish. Oh, that was weird. Okay, I'm a fish. My body has disappeared. We can go through as a fish. But I don't know what to do from here. There's a valve on the other side, but fish can't turn valves. Oh! I think the fish died. Oh! What the fuck? Oh, you... Okay. That's why I turned around, because I was trying to look for my character's body. I was like, is my guy just, like, standing there? That's how it breaks the fall, because you... not a, You don't just possess their mind. You, you, like, become them. What the fuck? How does that work? I just... I not only possess the fish, you become the fish. And then when it dies, you take its place... What in the world? How does that even work? Oh, that's so cool, but like, that changes so much now. Okay, so that's why I was thinking about possessing the rat. I was like, what do you do? You just like, distract someone maybe, you know, and then they walk away as they try to like, stomp you. But you can use that to infiltrate. That's fucking incredible. And now we're in the sewers. I was trying to like look around being like, what do we, what do we do here? Okay, that, that changes so much about um, using the possession. It just became so much more of a important ability. Wow, that's, that is amazing. All right, what is this? Cause this was the door, right? The fuck is that? Can't open this from this side. This feels like danger. Okay. What in the world? I don't. I don't want to like kill it because I don't know. Nothing else will grow if there are river crusts nearby. Is this a river crust? In the old days, the river men scraped away the crusts. So gentlemen and ladies, so by the river, unaccosted by the fowls. Okay, so this is a river crust. The conspirators have found a safe home here. 
they take great care of their own farm. Ooh. Is that working or not? Let's try a bullet. We're not going to use our bullets for anything else. There's blood that came out of it. Ah. Yeah, okay. It takes a, it takes a bit of a hit. Cool! Alright, so that is a river crust. We know to look out for those and it gives you some coin. Fascinating stuff. An ancient note. I'm sorry, but I won't be here for the next meeting. Or ever again for that matter. What happened here was unnatural and makes me sick to recall. I left the result of our labors here for you to keep, but I expect that the rats will consume it before you return. Goodbye. What does that mean? Okay. Damn, now whenever there's like gates or doors with like small openings, that makes so much more sense and you can like become a rat and then slip on through. Oh, that's super exciting. Maybe this is the pubmaster's key. It like opens this. Where am I though? I don't know where this is and I don't think I can... Yeah, I don't think that works from under here. Okay, I need to figure out where this trapdoor is. Um, need to think of it as a location. So, trapdoor is like... Yeah, this is the exit to the sewers. I need to... It's in... The trapdoor is like in this building. Hound pit's key needed. Okay. Big ass cage in there with a chair. This feels like an interrogation room. I need the hound pit's key. And there's a staircase here. There it is. Interesting. I can't interact with it. But that's the little trap door. Okay. However, they will respond to Yes, we know where that is later. With lethal force. Furthermore. It is a misdemeanor to throw any object or animal into a wall of light, whether for amusement or with criminal intent. <laughs> whether for amusement or for criminal intent. What's this guy doing in my room? What are you doing in here? Where are you going? Just Roman? Attention, Dunwall citizens. You are reminded that assaulting a member of the City Watch has been made a capital offense. And guardsmen are authorized to carry out this sentence on yeah. the spot. Yeah, that's um... The offender's possessions... I'm going to sleep now. That was a good, that was good exploration. We Found some cool stuff. Are we going to have another dream with the outsider? Learn about weepers. Oh, no dream. Just a normal, just a normal nap tonight. Okay. Learn about weepers. That will have luck. Okay. Sleeping restores our health and our mana to full. So I kind of wasted that elixir using it anyway, but that's okay. My ankle's feeling better already. Chapter 32. As yet, I have said little of my brothers Morgan and Custis. 
twins they are, and four years senior to me. Morgan is the larger of the two brutes by a slight bit. From earliest memory, they abused me in every way. I'm not the first to claim their elder siblings were cruel, but my suffering was unique. I promise you. At the tender age of five, they tied me to the crib and set inside it assorted vipers they had collected over several weeks. My howls and my breathing were muffled by a blanket, and so it was hours before the nurse found me, barely alive. I had kicked a few serpents to a pulp and others had slithered away, but not before I'd been bitten a dozen times or more on my legs, arms, and face. The wounds kept me convalescing for months while those two got away with barely a tongue lashing. Wallace! Bring me wine. <clears throat> Tomorrow I will regale you with the special gift they gave me on my 10th birthday. Party. Wow. Okay. Uh, that's a childhood. Also, another one. Um, so there you go. Um, keep coming back and checking. But yeah, this man, a raging alcoholic for sure. You're lucky I keep you on. Lucky? This place would fall apart in minutes without me. Is that so? In any case, you can't dismiss me. I went through the books this morning and found five mistakes you've made. Very well. You're lucky I found them before the Admiral did. Wow. Okay. There is tension in this group, for sure. Um, good news, you can still eavesdrop with the door wide open. So that it doesn't miss out anything. Well, the audiograph player is not here this time. It is every citizen's duty to report It was a milkmaid who started it. And she took ill one morning after her chores, on but you. the milk had already been delivered. That was all it took for them to wall the place off. Plague spreads fast. Ah, hello, Corvo. Hello, Corvo. There are important things we must Hello, discuss. Corvo. I expect Martin will be joining us shortly. I hate to start your day with such a strange matter, but the servants heard something last night, moving through the storm drains beneath the building. Most likely a weeper, the poor bastard. There's no hope for them once the plague gets that far along. Nothing more than a shuffling corpse full of sickness and insects, if you ask me. I'd appreciate you investigating, just to be sure it's not a nosy guardsman that's getting too close. Here's a key to the hatches. I send a servant down there, but they die of fear on the spot, I'm afraid. Maybe Piero can concoct some sort of sleep poison for your crossbow if you want to go that route. How do I tell the Admiral that it was literally just me? So uh, last night I found my way into the sewers. Oh, that's so stupid. <laughs> the fact that I'm like looking around and exploring, and I'm like, oh, secret sewers, you know, that we're not able to access the next morning. Hey man, we heard noises in the sewers last night. Can you go and investigate? Fucking hell. I know the Golden Cat, not as a patron, mind you. I designed some specialized devices for them. I kept the blueprints, if anyone is curious. Don't. I brought you tea as a courtesy to a colleague. I won't make that mistake in the future. I'm sorry, I only thought, never mind what I thought. Thank you for the tea. I have to get back to the Admiral. He has news for me. Why is he being so strange? He's weird. Hey, yeah, I didn't visit that place as a patron, but like, I made some devices, if you know what I mean. We could like uh, create something here, baby. I hate that. It's disgusting. Hello? He is Pierre Joplin. Even now, he visualizes the next invention. Astonishing. I wish you could see it too. Double runes, baby. Um, yes, he's visualizing some sort of vibrating device. Corvo, my friend. Do you need ammunition or weaponry? Would you like me to craft something for you? 
I need sleep darts, baby, because I use them all. Give me that. Stack them up. Um, upgrades. Let's have a look here, because we've got some coin. Uh, bone charm capacity. This is really interesting because we get a bone charm capacity of seven off the bat up to, it look, I think it looks like a maximum of 10. So you have to buy the standard bone capacity increases to pers like get past that, it looks like, which is pretty wild. Um, this is just standard bolts. I would love the upgrade to my sleepy bolts, but that's okay. Um, we'll leave those alone. Uh, I'll purchase another one of those, I guess. Uh, let's have a look for these runes. Okay, I'll go around. I opened it literally yesterday. Two runes in clutch, such close proximity. Oh, okay. Wait. Okay, uh, this might be a sewers thing then. They're like available to us underground in the sewers because I don't think we're getting I don't think we're getting there this stuff is really interesting like the barricades like the metal rusted barricades uh, around the city like it's it's very Half-Life 2 like so city 17 it's very interesting like that like this whole aesthetic is um it's quite similar so it seems like there's a lot of inspiration that was taken from there, in my opinion. Um, I guess... Oh, there you go. Okay, we can now unlock all of the... There you go, okay. I think this is where we're supposed to be. Maybe. This is a weeper area. Is this our objective? Alright, um... In that case... Let me check out our proper objective first, because we're getting ahead of ourselves, I suppose. We'll go the way that we're supposed to, just to see what's here. So funny that we now have access to this. We did it a much cooler way, if you ask me. He has the bloodlust. He tried to seize control of the military after the Empress. After she, the Empress, was murdered. Let's take a look down here, shall we? Okay. Do what we're supposed to do. Let's take a look down into the sewers. Wow, look at this new place that we certainly haven't been in before. Oh, okay. And now we can unlock the sewers. Okay, cool. So we're getting introduced to weepers. Um, now, I wonder, I'm not sure if um, we're able to kill weepers. This kind of feels tragic because th these are like plague ridden rats. we'll find out. Let's, let's, let's find out, shall we? This is a disease for the to children. I just fell into the water and died. The alias swooped with honey to hide the taste of the river bride. Just have them go into the water and then they die. Just... Oh, don't vomit on me. Jesus. Oh, that's disgusting. Yeah, it's, dude straight up fell into the water and then just died. Oh! Okay. Well, there you go. I've learned about weepers. And here are the two runes. Oh, okay. So we dropped down that grating. Okay. So we're actually exactly where we needed to be. Cool. 
I didn't realize that those were connected in that way. Uh, the double rune drop was very good. Um, health is increased. Bend time. See in the dark and see living beings through walls. Clean their fields of vision, representation of sounds. See useful objects and security systems through walls as well. So this is just to be able to see a couple more things. I think we could do without that. I'm just going to do a end time. Left trigger to slow the world around you for a limited time or until you press left trigger again to end the power. At level two, time is completely stopped. Enemies and security systems are unaware of you for the duration. Oh, that's cool. Eight runes to upgrade to completely stop time. Wow. Okay. So, um, just for your knowledge, weepers will die if they touch the water. They will also vomit on you. Um, gross. And I didn't even see this the first time, so that's funny. Oh, Jesus. I thought I heard a weeper in there earlier. You're probably the bravest man I've ever met. Overseer Martin has arrived. He's with Admiral Havelock now. They want to talk to you. Dust here, dust there. Feels like the whole world is dusty. Okay. So there are definitely things that we've obviously seen that we're like, oh, we can't get in here right now. And I guess we'll, you know, we'll get keys either given to us or we can find them around the place. But there you go. There's our introduction to Weepers. In light of the recent and terrible rat plague, this establishment is closed to the general public until further notice. Once the plague has passed, we will happily take your coin again and provide you with nights of debauchery and merriment. Fellas, I took care of your little problem. I'm going to assume that the Weepers are acceptable to slay because they are quite literally plague-ridden um, people, which is... And then it's sad because you can use the heart on them and it's like how they got infected, which is just like, thank you for the misery. Corvo, I trust you remember Martin, an overseer before and perhaps again someday soon. I owe you thanks for my rescue. Indeed, you've given us a glimmer of hope, Corvo, because we've gotten what we wanted from Campbell's journey. You've done it. We know where Emily Caldwin is being held. The Golden Cat of all places. A bathhouse for aristocrats. Little better than a cursed brothel. But there's an unfortunate twist. It appears that Pendleton's own kinsmen stand in our way. The twins, Morgan and Custis. Not only are they controlling Emily, but they have the controlling parliamentary votes we so desperately need. Yes, the Pendletons have to die. Oh. But most importantly, Emily must be brought here safely so we can protect her until the Lord Regent and his entourage have been dealt with. That didn't click with me until just now. I was like, duh, obviously. So when we were in the Outsiders little dreamscape thing, uh, we saw Emily with two characters and I was like, oh, they look the same. Are they like twins? And then didn't even click for me about these characters. Um, but that makes so much sense. Okay. So we actually saw where Emily was with like that note that she'd written with the, with twins ahead of time interesting and then obviously we read about them Pendleton's waiting for you on the dock he's asked to brief you personally I think it's best going to the golden cat okay yes perfect place to put a child fortunes have been won here and lives have been lost he has been a soldier a highway robber and a man of faith. Campbell's book appears to contain much more than we expected. He was blackmailing a number of highly ranked overseers. With the information in this journal, we will be able to manipulate the religious faction. The overseers will bend to our will. Nice. He wonders which is more powerful, the knife or the tongue. Corvo, a moment if I may. The younger Pendleton, jealous little Trevor, always in the shadow. Corvo, 
I've asked to speak to you myself. You see, I'm sending you to kill my older brothers, Morgan and Custis. They're horrible men. It's true, as you may have heard, cruel beyond words. Further, my brothers are close allies to the Lord Regent, and as long as they are in Parliament, we cannot gather the votes we'll need to stop the Lord Regent from further consolidating his power. These days, they're best known for exploiting their favor with him to cheat others out of their wealth. Let's just say that not every family evicted in quarantine for having the plague actually has the plague. I warned my brothers in every way I could. I really did. But they never did listen to me. They'll be at the Golden Cat tonight at their usual revels. They'll be protected by the City Watch, so it'll be dangerous. Now go. Please do it before I change my mind. Two swigs in quick succession. I can't say I'm any better. Okay. Samuel, time for another mission, eh? Alright, so I'm stacked up on sleep darts. Now, yeah, the Admiral was like, you could do it sleep darts if you want to do it that way, but it's like, I almost feel like it's a mercy to take out the Weepers because they're just like, not even themselves anymore. They're like zombies um, to just put them to sleep instead of at least finishing them, you know, putting them out of their uh, out of misery is like a mercy. Feels like the better thing to do in that sense. I'll take you to the Golden Cat when you're ready. I've taken Lord Pendleton enough times, believe me. <laughs> Just casually spill on the gas. Yeah, Lord Pendleton visits quite a lot. Mask on, baby. Oh, back to the distillery district. Okay. House of Pleasure. The loyalists believe that Emily is being held at the Golden Cat by the corrupt aristocratic Pendleton brothers. These men are Lord Pendleton's despised older brothers, twins, and they are loyal to the tyrannical Lord Regent. Find Emily at the Golden Cat and eliminate Lords Custis and Morgan Pendleton. Uh, so back in the district, I wonder if we can check in with um, Granny Rags again. We did not poison the elixir supply for her. She did promise us a rune, which I think is why we only had six out of seven for that. But it felt morally wrong. So I did not do that. But I wonder if she'll talk about something new. I'll get you as close as I can to the Golden Cat, Corvo. I have to go the rest of the way on your own. The entrance is near Holker Square. The main thing is to make sure that little girl, Emily, gets back all safe and sure. All right, we're going a different way. Are there, so I'm guessing there'll be a lot of guards. Slackjaw might have some ideas oh, about no, we're not. inside the cat if he don't kill you. This here's his territory. He and his Bottle Street gang hole up at the old Dunwall Whiskey Factory. They sell the elixir that folks used to fight off the plague. I'll lay low, but keep an eye out for you and the little lady you bring him back. Good luck to you. I know Emily must mean a lot to you. Be careful going up the street, Corvo. A river hand I know pulled up alongside me last night and said there's one of those watchtowers on Clavering now. I guess you getting rid of Campbell shook up the Lord Regent. Okay. Uh, optional, talk to Slackjaw at the distillery. Um, yeah, look at those two. Okay, optional meat selector in the distillery. Let's definitely check this out. I want to see what slack jaw looks like. I thought we were going in a different direction for a sec, but we're back in the same area, but I guess things will change now. Chaos! Your actions affect the city. A high number of deaths results in more rats and weepers. Different reactions from your allies and darker final outcomes. Okay, so this is what the chaos part of the final mission stats means, because I think our chaos is low at the moment. So a high number of deaths 
resulting in uh, the plague spreading even more, our allies having different opinions of us, and um, affecting the ending. There you go. Jesus, the fuck? Whoa. What the fuck is going on? Jesus. Okay. Let's take a let's take a swim over here because we can get up this way because we did this last time. Let's try to get a look at this from a distance. That's that big watchtower they're talking about. Wow. Yep, that was a good jump. <laughs> Want to try again? Oh, and the, um... Oh, okay, I'm hitting my head on something. So maybe I should just try blinking off. <laughs> I'm hitting my head on the top thing. There we go. Oh, oh! They're, um... Weepers, okay. Damn, okay. Damn. Oh! Oh! Picking up the fucking money brings the rats out. Got that sound. Keep saying, huh? This is the days he spent at sea. Huh? Oh, none of these are actual dumpsters I can dump him in. Okay. I wonder if we. Who is. Huh? Who keeps saying that and why? Uh, I wonder if we can get up there. Huh? Huh? You reckon we could disable this tower? Ooh. The rats. So look, instead of it saying wanted for us, it's now branded with Campbell. There's a guy there. Why aren't the rats attacking him? Hey, can I buy your ration of elixir from today? Another night, another patrol with you. Huh? Huh? I wonder if I, can, I don't think I can be in that spotlight. This is a very interesting spot to be in. Oh, I've reached my maximum amount of save files. So there you go. You can only have uh, a few. I don't think I'll be going back to my earlier ones. And I did just make a lot of like new saves out of habit. I'll get rid of some of these older ones, I suppose, as I won't be going back anytime soon. Multiple saves is a good idea for, like, the mission you're in, I think. And that's about it. <clears throat> so I'll keep that. Huh? Oh, that's the person saying, Huh? Throw a grenade, that's a great distraction. Huh? 
Outsider's eyes, I'm getting spooked. Wait. You're, oh. Huh? He went inside the box. I'm like, where the fuck did he go? Nothing after all. I'm inside the box. Alright, you reckon I can make it up there? I made it. Ooh. So, I feel like if we rewire it, what if that starts attacking them? That would cause some kills, so we might want to just disable it, right? Time yet to bug someone else. Alright, I think we just disabled it, so it's off now. Huh? huh? So is this automated, or is there a person inside of it? Alright, it's off. That gate is closed. Right, I now have to try and get back this way. Alright, let's go to the distillery. That person is, v like, so strange. <laughs> okay. Attention, Dunwall citizens. Thaddeus Campbell. Formerly oh, here it is. Is no longer a citizen of Dunwall. He now bears the Heretics brand. And by one of the oldest traditions of the Abbey of the Everyman, it is now a minor... Oh, these are speakers. Man aid or housing. Okay. In this time of spiritual crisis, the overseers have initiated the Feast of Painted Kettles until a new high overseer is chosen. Yes, the Feast of Painted Kettles. Okay, perfect. Uh, the, okay, these are speakers. So I've seen power lines attached to them, so I thought they were like these power boxes or something. That makes a lot of sense. Anything in your pocket for a poor working man, huh, pal? All that he had is lost in the flood. Oh, hang on. Hey, you're just the man I was looking for. Slackjaw's wanting to talk to you. This was Granny Rag's spot, wasn't it? It's sealed up. The door has been kicked down and sealed. Oh, note from Granny. Theory, you shouldn't fraternize with those bad boys from the distillery. That elixir hasn't improved their dispositions and they don't treat my birdies very nicely at all. If you start keeping company with them, or their so-called boss, you may fall out of favor with me. You wouldn't want that, would you? Granny. Wow, very interesting. Okay, so it seems that there's like something going on in the background here where there's a choice to be made. If you want to like align yourself more on Granny's side or Slackjaw's side. Um, Granny's not here right now. Um, let's see what Slackjaw has to propose right i feel like that could be at least a good idea um because we helped out granny and then we realized oh what she's asking for is um not very not very good i don't think so we'll uh we'll leave that alone yeah there's definitely no way in i don't think oh hang on there's a person here Look at the, oh God, the amount of verticality you can get just like jumping on rooftops here. He's not going to need the bread, is he? Oh, I missed. That's gonna hurt me ankle. <laughs> oh man. Uh, I'm like, oh fuck. Park or fail. What a mess, huh? Whole town's gone to trash. 
He looked after his brother the best he could, but the boy had a big line at the age of six. Usually when there's a character that I can loot, I let the heart determine whether I will loot them or not. And I will judge them based on that. Oh, actually we might be able to talk to that person that we rescued. Was it Griff? Oh, oh, oh shit. What the fuck? Oh my God. Holy shit. Assassins. Dude. Yo. Okay. Sleepy time, assassins. Took me by surprise. Holy crap. I was like, how have I been discovered? But that makes sense. I'm being watched. Fuck that. So be on the be be prepared for uh, assassin attacks, and then put them to sleep. Don't panic. I almost I almost killed them, but I was like, go to sleep. <laughs> it's interesting the environments change because we could go in there before, but that's different now. Let's try to look for the way up. All right, let's talk with Griff. Branded, Overseer Thaddeus Campbell, formerly High Overseer, is no longer citizen of Dunwall. Want to look at some of the things I've found? Good prices, I swear. Always those. <laughs> Um, I'll grab this so we can distill a liquid that restores health and protects against the plague. Uh, collect blueprints to unlock new upgrades and equipment in Piero's workshop. Oh, that one up there. Okay. Still need that art dealer's key. This is restocked in here again. Academy, they cut the flesh of the dead and trap the lightning from the sky. New bone charm added. Uh, Undertaker, you move slightly faster when carrying corpses. Oh, I like that. Put that on. body of the mother is gone now. Uh, time to go speak to Slackjaw, I think. That him? Yeah, he's the one. Hey, we got a message for you from Slackjaw. He wants to talk. At the distillery. Okay. Good thing I didn't poison your uh, your stuff, huh? Psh. He is a cutthroat and thug. He answers to a man named Slackjaw. A mudlock until, until twelve, sifting through, through the filth until, until he could use a knife. knife. In we go. Let's see what Slackjaw looks like. Uh. 
Now we can walk through here nicely, entering a neutral zone. Nice. Last time it was not so neutral. Hey, you in the mask. You look like a clown. Are you supposed to be scary? <laughs> Sit on my lap, tough guy. It doesn't sound as intimidating as you think it does, buddy. Oh, there's a bone shaman here, but I need the distillery reserve key, which I guess I don't have anymore. Any of you guys got a key? Slackjaw will be waiting for you. Anyone got a key on their, uh, Oh. On their back pocket. Oh, actually, hang on. Alright, guys, don't panic. Just gonna disappear into a rat for a second. Where are we? Some blueprints. Oh, okay. Cool. Oh, I remember where we are. Interesting. There you go. We were... Yeah, I remember this. So we're now in the actual place. But through here. Uh, incandescent paste. What happens when we're full of everything all the time? Oh, and the distillery reserve key. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? That's quite beautiful, that is. All right. Bunting. The art dealer Bunting is a man of taste. If anyone left in Dunwall something worth stealing, it's him. Whoever opens the safe gets the double the normal cut. Ooh. This is the art dealer thing. There's a locked safe in the art dealer's house. Like Jaws Gang has not been able to open the safe, so the code is probably elsewhere. Um, I'll need to uh, actually get in there, though. Looting in recent months. The looting started in the warehouses. Once men, uh, no, once enough men took sick with the plague, the companies had to suspend operations. My husband Malchus was with the Mason Tobacco Leaf Company, which closed last year during the month of clans. He ran the fireboxes at the main curing barn. Malchus always said flu curing made the sweetest leaf. Sickness hits the tobacco men hardest because of all the smoking. They ran with a small crew for a while, but around the time my husband got sick, the fires were put out and the tobacco sat rotting. Somehow the thieves knew and started stripping the place. Later, they moved on to the houses, the bastards. Alright, well. Hey, fellas. Supposed to be scary. Hey, you in the mask. You look like a easy, easy. You just need a bit. Ain't you heard? Slackjaw keeps the good stuff for himself. Rest of us get one part elixir, three parts water down. Oh, that's just to make the swallowing go smooth. Well, I ain't taking no chances on getting the plague. Wait till you drop. That's my motto. Okay. Well, we can now get in here. Throwing hand, you threw carried objects a bit for father as well. These are nice. Good upgrades. Alrighty. The fuck are you looking at? Blow off, chopper. <coughs> <coughs> you should go see Slack John near the still. He wants to talk about a job. I love that you can just 
like loot from everyone and anyone. Nobody says anything really. <laughs> Here he is. My men were right. You do look like a man out for murder. Way I figure it, there ain't nobody worth killing around here except those two Pendletons over at the Golden Cat. I'm right, ain't I? See, slack your nose. Them boys are twins. Rich, mean, and weird. Worse than most of their ilk. They've been laying low there a while, not sure why. There's a lot of security at the Golden Cat tonight, though. Special guests and the like. But you're gonna walk in there, dressed like that, and kill the Pendleton brothers? Maybe I got a better way to take care of them, too. If you're doing something for me first, understand? Someone, I don't know who, is killing my men, taking my territory, stealing my goods. Might be a fellow name of Galvani. I sent my best man to investigate, but he went missing and... Well, now I need someone to find what happened to him. Go to this Galvani's place. He lives nearby off Clavering Boulevard. You do that for me and I'll get your better way into the Golden Cat. His dialogue is getting cut off, which is weird. And uh, his jaw is not as slack as I thought. Quite a handsome devil. He's a dishonored version of Harry uh, from Disco Elysium, naturally. <laughs> uh, so we're going back to Galvani's place. Yes, we'll do that. That's me and the poster. Pretty good likeness. See, I didn't know how accurate it would be when I saw the picture, but pretty accurate. That Galvani is a bitch. A doctor, they call him now. Get into his office and you can find out what happened to my man who vanished. Slatcha. Whores raised him. He'll never know his father's secrets. Ooh. He deals in flesh, weapons, strong drink. Hey, They've always called him Slackjaw. There is a strong drink made here. I tried it once. Distilled from river crusts by the taste of it. Interesting. Alright. Slackjaw has given us an opportunity to do something, and we will oblige. Constant, like, coughing and stuff is, uh, terrible. <coughs> Everyone's just making so many disgusting guttural noises. Actually, I should use one of those, and then... I will probably come back here anyway, and we'll pick up the, the, the mana restoration. <coughs> Guards. Oh! He's peeking in the keyhole! I haven't realized the AI could do that. Oh, hello. The AI peeks in keyholes. How about that? Alright, we're gonna go up the way that we went last time. We'll infiltrate the second floor. Look at this important looking fella. So cold. Uh, okay, I missed him. I have to be closer, I think. Right, watch out for this dude. Probably put him to sleep. Ships have stopped bringing their hulls. Stealth in like daytime, man. <laughs> His entire family is taken by the plague. Yeah. <laughs> that was unfortunate. Mm. Yeah, 
Yes, okay. Maybe I should have blinked. I should have blinked instead of jumping. That was my mistake. Jumping makes the noise. Blinking does not. Someone is peeing. <laughs> Alright, um... Hey, what's going on there? We'll stick with that. That was a little bit messy, but that's okay. My mistake. When in doubt, blink, probably. Did you see him? I saw like a lot of but really. I wish I saw. Not a big deal. Maybe you can go up later and take a look after the mother two are gone. Get a safe here as well. Noise. The rat shadow on the wall. for some clues for that safe. <coughs> Wait for this guy to walk past, and then I will take him in here. <coughs> nice, I do move like a nice speed. Carrying bodies. Okay. Now, would the clue for it be in here, you think? Be somewhere else. that they do themselves. <laughs> Good thing it's just you, isn't it, buddy? <laughs> Blinks out into the open. Right, you can go here where the maid went last time. Invited to a soiree at the Boyle Estate. Of course, I won't attend. The 28th day of the seventh month, the month of the High Code, is the day I met Antov Sokolov at the Academy. Why would I tarnish the anniversary of the most important day in my life by licking aristocratic boots? I have no time for fools. Are we solving the riddle? The plague. Uh, we have read that one already, so he has not added to his journal. Seems that he doesn't spend a lot of time here. curious about possessing a rat through these things it might give us the answer to that we've been searching for for the safe code perhaps Suspects. What? 
Suspects? We ain't gonna waste time solving who killed him. Personally, I'd buy who did it a drink. But what are you gonna put on your report? I'm gonna say we found one of Slackjaw's men inside, all dead and bloody, and that you are a stinking idiot. Fiercely loyal to the lower region. There's a key. Huh? Mm -hmm. key automatically. They've run away. They disappeared. I wish to possess one, but it looks like they may have disappeared. Seven. Let's go downstairs. So we just discovered the safe code. Be careful with sprinting. <laughs> uh, 287. Nice. Ooh, 500 is very nice. Lovely. up. We're just leaving the clue alone for now while we investigate. Yeah, here we go. Now I want to see what we can do here. So this will probably take us into the room. But I want to see where these go. Oh, okay. Oh. That's kind of... yeah. Eh. It just curves around into another room. Interesting. That's uh, how you can like sneak around, I suppose, which is quite cool. We we'll use the fake book because we know how to get in here. Ah, oh, the rune has replaced the rat, Miss Era. Lovely. Sewer capacity in the month of nets is not new. Close that behind us. Okay, time to investigate the clue. Ooh, Crowley's last message. Okay. I need a uh, audiograph player for that. We'll go out the way we came. Love infiltrating the the second floor, and we're able to check out the safe. In and out, nobody even knows that we were here. Except for this guy outside briefly, who <laughs> we put to sleep. All right, let's Come return <coughs> to, they're still suspicious. Uh, we'll return to Slackjaw. We got a prowler on the loose. And they will st stay suspicious of us now. Uh, 
hears Crowley's last words. What's this? Information from my missing guy. Let's have a listen. Blackjaw, it's me, Crowley. I'm making this in case I don't make it back. He was right. There is someone once you dead. What's the takeover of the distillery and the whole Bottle Street gang? And you'll never believe who it is, either. At first, I didn't. That's why it's taken me so long. I wanted to be sure, and... What's that? Ah! No! No! Ah! So Crowley's dead. Too bad. He was one of my best men. Still, you and me had a deal, and Slatjaw never goes back on a deal. Take this key. It ain't for the golden cat, no. This key's for the captain's chair. A hotel abandoned since the plague gutted this part of town. Take the stairs to the top. You can use the roof to get into the Golden Cat Brothel. See that? Slackjaw keeps a bargain. Just as good as the men who run the city. Maybe a little better. You think about that. Now maybe we can help each other out again. I could get rid of the Pendletons for you. Quiet-like and without killing them. But you gotta do something for me in return. Okay, so the non-lethal path is helping Slackjaw out. Interesting. Tell me what you've got in mind. The cat's having a big reopening tonight. Lot of money clients. Including an arts dealer named of Bunting. He's got particular tastes, or so I've been told by some of the ladies. Got some pretty fancy stuff locked away at his place. And the only thing preventing me from nabbing all that loot is the combination to a safe. Of course, the Pendletons have been camped out there for months too, not sure why. So that means a lot of the City Watch and other soldier types. Bring me that combination, my masked friend, and then I take care of the Pendleton brothers. Just like that. You ain't never even gonna touch them. And I promise, I won't kill them and no one will ever see them again. Now, if that ain't a deal, Slackjaw don't know what is. What is he gonna do to prevent them from ever being seen again, I wonder, you know? The brothels spring up around the distilleries. They are inseparable. He knows the streets of Dunwall, especially its dark alleys, as well as any man. Okay. I would say trust. Blackjaw. Blackjaw. Interesting. Well, there you go. We have um, another alternative. So eliminate the Pendletons. We have straight up eliminating them, locating the art dealer in the Golden Cat, and optional is to go to the Golden Cat via the Captain's Chair Hotel. So he did want that, that safe combination. So we've got more stuff to do if we want to pursue a non-lethal approach. Uh, but with that one, we're going to be bringing this episode of Dishonored to a close. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you've had fun watching this one. Uh, I am really liking the sort of back and forth between areas, but filling it with new stuff. And I'm excited to see what's going to be around the corner in the House of Pleasure. I will see you next time.